Hello everyone, thank you for coming today. My name is Katie Norell and I'm the insurance advisor for this office. Here at Weicker Insurance Agency, we work with several over 15 different insurance carriers and we can shop around for you. We can check rates for your home insurance, your car insurance, pet insurance, life insurance, flood insurance, jewelry, and more. But today I wanna to talk about homeowner's insurance. So what exactly is homeowner's insurance? Homeowner's insurance is there to protect your home in the event it is damaged from a catastrophe. Very often this can be from fires, wind damage, hail damage, hurricanes, or even within the home, like a plumbing failure, damaging your flooring and walls. Your home is gonna be covered at replacement cost. That's what mortgage companies require, not actual cash value. Those policies are no good. It's also going to cover theft in the event you have items stolen from your home. And lastly, it's going to provide liability coverage. This is coverage for litigation costs in the event that you're sued from something like a trip and fall on your property. So why do you need to purchase home insurance? Why do mortgage companies require it? Well, you need to protect your investment and mortgage companies need to protect their investment. In the event of a total loss, you wanna make sure you can rebuild a new home. Pay attention to your home insurance policies and make sure they're getting paid on time because if there is a lapse of insurance, your mortgage company is going to force place very expensive insurance policy. So I recommend that you check your policy every so often to make sure no payments are missed. So when do you actually need to purchase the homeowner's insurance? Well, once you're under contract, it's recommended that you start shopping around within seven days. And then be advised that you actually don't have to make a payment on the home insurance policy. You can lock it in without any payment because the payment for the homeowner's insurance is likely gonna be included in your closing costs. And then the following year, your renewal premium will be paid by your mortgage company. This is the most common scenario. If you want to get a quote, have handy the name of each buyer and person on the deed, as well as their date of birth. Obviously, you're gonna need the new location address. They're gonna ask for your current address as well. Details of the home, like the square footage, siding type, how old is the roof? Is there a basement or a crawl space or is it on a slab? And of course, you want to have an idea of your estimated closing date. We understand that these things can change, but a rough idea will help us put the policy start date around the right time frame. And if you know that you're going to be installing something like a central burglar fire alarm, let your agent know because they would love to apply those credits for you. And of course, I do recommend shopping around your car insurance while also shopping around the home insurance because you're gonna find the best rate by putting those two things together. You're gonna to save the most money and also help you compare to your current insurance carrier. So you get a few quotes, right? And you're looking at it and you're not quite sure what all these coverages mean. I'm gonna run through a list of the main coverages on a quote and also what will be on your declaration page when you get the official copy of the policy. The coverage A is the dwelling amount. So this is the amount calculated to rebuild the home should you have a total loss. The rebuild amount does not have to match your loan amount. Despite what your mortgage company may say, as long as the home is insured at 100% replacement cost, it does not have to match the loan amount. The reason I wanna mention this is because sometimes the loan amount is much higher than the rebuild amount. You don't want to overinsure your home and pay for insurance you technically cannot use. So your agent is able to supply proof that it's insured at 100% replacement costs and the mortgage company will accept that. There's also coverage for other structures like a pool or a fence or a shed. And then you have coverage for your contents like your clothing and your furniture. If you have specific valuables like jewelry, artwork or firearms, please be sure to talk to your agent about these items because they often need to be insured separately if you want full coverage on them. And then there's also coverage for loss of use. 
or additional living expenses, expenses if you need to live somewhere else while your home is being repaired. And of course, as I mentioned, there's liability coverage in the event you're sued and need to cover litigation costs. And also pay attention to the deductible on each quote. The deductible can make the premium higher or lower. The higher the deductible, the lower your annual premium will be. But you need to make sure you're comfortable with that deductible because that's the amount you're going to pay out of your own pocket before your insurance pays for anything. So for example, if you have a $1,000 deductible and you have a loss that's $5,000, you're going to pay the first $1,000 and then your insurance will pay for the rest. So just make sure you pay attention to that because the agent does not always point out what deductible they gave you. So homeowners insurance is not going to cover everything. So there are a few key perils that are not covered that I want to mention. Damage from an actual flood. I'm not talking about a plumbing failure within the home. I'm talking about surface water from the outside coming in. Additionally, earthquake is not going to be covered in the standard home insurance policy and neither was sinkhole. Damage from insects or vermin are not covered. And then there are some coverages that you're gonna to wanna to talk to your agent about adding on if you don't see them on the quote, like water backup, equipment breakdown, service line, and replacement cost on contents. When you are shopping around and obtaining quotes, make sure you tell the agent what kind of home it is and how it will be occupied by you or a tenant. So for example, is it a primary home or a secondary seasonal home? Is it a condo or a co-op? Are you responsible for just the interior? Additionally, is it a multifamily home? How many units are there? And is the property you're purchasing going to be rented out? Lastly, is the home vacant or is it vacant and undergoing renovations? You need to make sure you mention these things to your agent so you purchase the right type of policy that will provide the right coverage. Failure to purchase the right kind of policy could void coverage, and we want to avoid that. Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you're leaving with a better sense of what homeowner's insurance is, when you need to purchase it, what's covered and what's not. And if you ever need any help shopping around your homeowner's insurance, I help hundreds of home buyers every year purchase a policy for their new home. Feel free to contact me anytime. This is my contact information. I'm happy to help you compare rates with many different carriers and also rates you may have gotten elsewhere. And don't forget, we can do your car insurance too, so you save more money by bundling. Thank you so much. And again, thank you for coming.